Hello, we are live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to have you this morning, this evening, this afternoon, depending from where you're connecting from. I'd like to have your name, where you're connecting from, so that you can be welcomed well. Thank you for joining this session. This is, but I want to welcome everyone. I also want to welcome our coach for the month. His name is Israel Paul. He's very known as Financial Paul. I want to thank you. And um, the year is just fast wrapping up. You know, the Bible says better is the end of a thing than the beginning. I decided to keep this one at the end of the year so that, you know, for some of us who want to go back to our drawing board and say, okay, what can I do differently for the year 2023? Uh, I thought of, you know, putting something together, what investment, what business, what can we do so that we can end the year in a grand style and also step into 2023 in a great way. And today I brought my mentor and my friend and my brother too, because he's, I would say he's my coach. You know, age, age, uh, age is no barrier to having a coach or a mentor. He's my coach too on social media. I was never a social media person. I just only go to Facebook to do happy birthday, you know, and that's it. And that's where it ends. And today God connected us together. He's more than a brother, more than a friend. So and today... Uh, the next person's voice you will get to hear is Financial Paul. I won't be doing any introduction of himself because he's also a YouTuber. He's a coach on his own. He'll be able to tell you what he does. The business he's been into so that you can join him, follow him. If you need help and you can reach him directly, you can come through me. I'll be able to connect both of you together. And today, I want to welcome you, Paul. Uh, Israel yeah. Paul, thank you for being on this show and making out time out of your busy schedule. I know getting you is... I know how it is, but I'm excited. And I'm sure my audience too are excited too. Thank you for joining us on this show. So what do you have to yes. say to us? Um, thank you so much, um, Sandra, for bringing me in. I, I, okay, let me first introduce myself shortly. I'm Israel Paul, a member of the Institute of Child Accountants. Uh, I teach and train people on money, finance, investment, looking at various economic instability happening all around the globe, not only in Nigeria, but in Europe, in um, in Africa, in different um, uh, what's it called continents. So uh, I will look at some of these things that have been happening, and we look at some financial metrics, and we use that to advise people on what they can do, what business they can do. And um, in fact, 2023 is going to be very serious. And in fact, most of the videos I've been posting on Financial Policy Channel has been tailor made for 2023, and I'm. That's why I'm very, very excited for this live section because 2023 is going to be very, very serious. Looking at the uh, um, the China um, economic war, Nigeria political instability, and the USA um, um, political stuff also, and uh, economic instability too. So, so it's going to be really, very, very serious. So it takes those with quality financial information to have an edge. And that's why I'm happy to be in this um, life with you, Sandra. Thank you for having me. I see you as my sister, my boss also. So, <laughs> so that's just thank you. Thank you so much. So, yeah. it's uh, the floor is all yours. What investments, what businesses can we embark on in the year 2023? Yeah. Okay. Um, one of the things that I see that is very paramount, which you must start now before 2023, if you look at everybody um, um, that has made some money over a period of time, most of them that never caught those income that never caught. Now, I'll, I'll be talking about online and offline businesses and investment, but I want to first um, come on online businesses. And it's not just this kind of business. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you the business. I'm going to tell you the reason why we have to create such space. One of the things that is very paramount as an individual, if you must make constant money in 2023, because in 2023, so many things will be changing. The economy will be unstable. The political space will be giving out a lot of political policies. They will affect different businesses. So you have to have something that is very paramount where you can have an edge. Now, and one of those things which you are already doing, Sandra, and I am also doing, is by having a voice, um, having a, um, a, um, a level of influence online. As an individual, if you have an influence, money follows influence. 
let me reshape it if you have an attention online money follows attention so you look at everybody that has a lot of followers on different platforms it could be TikTok, it could be whatsapp it could be facebook it could be youtube it could be instagram just make sure that you try all your best to grow your audience or to grow your followers or to grow your influence because when you have those followers you can turn those followers you can bring your business to them you can do what you can advertise your business to them and how do you grow followers by offering value to these people one of the um, channels that i'll be talking about on the or people that have gained followers that you all know you might know Grand Cardone. You might know um, there is this, um, um, uh, I've forgotten his name, but I would remember now. He has a show that talks on finance and is highly known. Is I okay? Now I remember Dave Ramsey. Grand Cardone, Dave Ramsey, of course, you know about John Maxwell, um, the leadership coach. So many influence or influencers that have a number of followers they find a way to convert their followers into income generation stream why is it beautiful because when you have these followers or you have this influence or you have this attention you can convert that attention into business that cannot used to say money follows attention so how you might be asking how can i come now these people are already your audience there is no political instability that can disengage you from them. There is no economic instability that can disengage you from them. There is no way crypto fluctuation that can disengage you from them. You are already their influence. They are seeing you as an influence. The only thing you now need to learn is how to convert your influence into money, how to make money converting your influence or your attention online. So in 2023, money goes more to those who have attention and let me give you an instance why do you think when elon Musk talks about a crypto coin it shoots high because he has an attention he has a level of influence that commands results if Elon Musk starts today and say i am buying bitcoin i'm taking over bitcoin in the next one week let him just put that on twitter you will discover that bitcoin is going to shoot high because he already have that influence, people will begin to buy Bitcoin because they know that, oh, this man has an influence. Before he buys Bitcoin, let me buy. And Bitcoin, it affects the market. So in as much as Elon Musk is doing that as a space, there are other people who have influence that are also doing that as their spaces. So one of the things you must look out for, because you can wake up tomorrow and you discover that the coin you were looking up to has come down. Can wake up tomorrow and you discover that um the business you wanted to kick up as as run is, is is already going down of course so many of these crypto projects are, are one of the um things you need to look out for as an example no way no way there will still be one fluctuation in the crypto market but one thing is certain if you have your audience you can always make money from them by selling your expertise to them so you must be very, very intentional about growing your audience. Now, how, how, how can you put this into play? Take, for instance, my YouTube channel, Financial for YouTube channel. I talk on business and investment. People are interested, they want to learn more. Then I told them that there is this business you can do. And this business is, is a no-brainer. It's going to make you money. You know, you now channel your service. You channel yourself in a way to offer a service to them, a legit service, not an... It, a legit service a legit service to people take for instance <clears throat> one of the ways people can make money which i'm coming into is i'm creating an online uh, news site an online media company and you offer the service to your audience i can create this online media company for just two hundred thousand naira, or for just um let's say uh, 150 dollars people will pay you for this service because they know you as an influence so the number one thing you must look out for in 2022, um, if you must make money, is to position yourself to be an influence and position yourself to have followers. Um, two months ago, I was in a live section with someone on TikTok, and this man was in a live match with someone on TikTok. Let me tell, let me shock you. In ten minutes, he made two thousand dollars on TikTok by going live. 
Now, making money in this current period is is it, it has changed from the way it used to be before. Before it was we were in an industrial age where you have to go to work, go to the industry, sit down at the working place, make that money. At the end of the month, they pay you. Now we are in the information age and the digital age. From the comfort of your home, you can make money. And this man in 10 minutes made two thousand dollars. How did he do it? He did that because he already had an influence. You already had a level of followers. You already had attention. Look at any now. One of the top YouTubers in 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 the world is Mr. Beast. A company proposed to him to buy his YouTube channel for one billion dollars. They are not buying YouTube as a company. They are buying his YouTube channel because they see that this guy has a level of influence on YouTube. He has more than one hundred and fifteen million subscribers, and on a monthly basis his channel is making him less than eight million dollars and he has several businesses that is launching on youtube you can imagine somebody giving you a billion dollars to buy your youtube channel that is because they've seen that in this current 21st century money follows attention wherever you see attention you can turn it to money so 2022 number one thing that you must look forward for is how you can grow your influence don't be an unknown person grow your influence you can use facebook you can use youtube you can use instagram you can use tiktok people are growing their influence now you must grow your influence if you have twenty thousand subscribers you can make a lot of money from that if you have hundred thousand subscribers you can make a lot of money from that so it's an opportunity for you to key in in 2023 look forward to growing your audience then you can now market a business to them which is definitely going to meet their need what is business business is citing a problem getting a solution and and rendering that solution to those who need it and making money business simply means solving the problem so if you have a youtube channel you already have audience that have known you solve a problem that they have and you make money from it so that's the number one um business that you can something you should focus on in 2023 that can never be um affected by the global economy or political instability so that's number one number two that i will be talking about is um you looking at um, um one of the things that has already always um stand the test of time is real estate investing real estate investment has always stand the test of time over the years so, um there would be a, i don't know i'm hearing some background music i don't know if you are hearing that i'm hearing i'm the one playing it let me stop it sorry okay okay, okay. <laughs> okay okay great um one of the things you might want to be looking out for is having a real estate investment in your portfolio because in 2023 there'll be a lot of inflation a very really lot of devaluation of currencies and um, um one of the one of the investment that you can invest in that will edge against inflation and devaluation of currency is real estate investment and even if you look at Nigeria, where we are, in as much as there are so many um, um, in, um, instability, when you look at history, you are going to see something that has happened before that is about to repeat itself. And that's why I, 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 uh, rich people, they, they follow trend, they follow economic news, they follow news. And if you look at Nigeria for an instance, if you look at Lagos State, the government are just proposed to do the Lekki um, Airport somebody is wise and is financially intelligent he was going to make sure that he buys a place close to that place because there will be a lot of um, um uh, what's it called commercial activities in that area so one of the beautiful things you must look out for in 2023 or now positioning yourself for 2023 is to invest in real estate and one of the areas you might want to look at is in lagos Airport axis or abuja there are so many things you have to check in order for you to invest look at what are the 
industries springing up? What are the activities that is coming up here? Is there good road network? Is there electricity? Are companies there already? And are several other industries state uh, positioning themselves already? If you have those five things, upcoming economic projects, good road, good electricity, and uh, other industry coming up there already. These are the uh, quite a number of things you need to check in order to, uh, and also the the, um, the the one other thing that's very important for you to check is the chart in on the Soviet General's office. If this, if the chart, the Soviet chart is, is good, check this many forties, you are good to go. Real estate has really been a medium to what to to invest in a long time and also make money in a short time a lot of people used to think real estate is a long time investment no depending on the kind of real estate you're doing you could buy a place and when i when people are buying a real estate um properties i tell them don't buy one buy minimum of three buy six so that by the time the place appreciate in price maybe you bought the six for an instance for 10 million and when um let's use six million you bought it to one, one million era per block and by the time a lot of economic activity is bringing up that area, one plot is now going for three million, four million. You can then sell half plot. I mean, half acre. If you bought one acre, you can sell half acre. One acre is six plots. If you bought six plots, you can sell um, um three plots. And when you sell three plots for nine million, you can use it to develop your three plots, or you use it to start a business. So depending on you can say okay. Every six months, I want to be selling one one plot. It's left for you. You bought it for six plot. You bought six plots. Say so, okay. Once in the six month now, I bought it for a million naira. Now it's selling for three million after one and a half years. Every six months, I need three million naira. Before you even sell everything, it's like in three years time. But of course, I don't advise you to sell all. Maybe you leave two and sell four. So, but those three million you're making every six months is sustaining you. For the period while you are looking at other businesses, real estate investment is an opportunity or is something everyone must look forward to gaining, whether you are in Nigeria or you are in diaspora, whether you are investing in Nigeria or you are investing in diaspora. Make sure that you came into real estate business. Another business that I'll be talking about that you can invest in is business cut across towards um um basic woman um need it is under food clothing and shelter <coughs> no matter what sorry yeah no matter what people would always need shelter people would always need clothing people would always need food in fact the first business that busted me into media was um clothing business i sell i sold fashion business and when I made million from fashion business after the Black Friday period, the next year by January, I bought my first line. So you can look at businesses that is in line with food, clothing, shelter. Look inward and say, what can I do in this space? In the shelter space, you might be selling building materials. A lot of companies are really building now. They look forward to selling building materials. So there are so many businesses that are tied towards the food, clothing, and shelter that can really help you to make money in 2023. So many Nigerians in Nigeria, you can begin to package food stuff and sell abroad. There are so many people in Canada that, are, that want to buy Nigerian food stuff. They want to reach out for people. There's someone that I know that has the, that business. She goes to the market, buys the product, buys the food stock, and sell it to a Canadian audience. She doesn't even need to have a store there. She buys it. Maybe she buys it for thirty thousand. She sells it for forty-five thousand naira. She makes fifty thousand, and she has more than one buyer over there, more than one family, and she sells to people there. So if you have food business, your business cannot go down. If your business is towards clothing business, it cannot go down because people always want to look good. If your business is under shelter, it cannot go down 
because people would always need a roof up that they can stay on them. So these businesses will never go down, no matter the economic instability. So if we'll be looking at like last two or three that I'll be talking about, maybe I don't know if you might have a question that I want to ask me. Um, um, one of the businesses that people can do is to learn digital skills. Learning digital skills um, is is one of the uh, biggest opportunities. Now look at Elon Musk. I use him as an example a lot. Who would believe that somebody with great influence and money can still go and buy Twitter? And I will tell you, Twitter and he quickly converted a public company to a private because Twitter is going to position him to become the first trillionaire in the world he has set a lot of parameters on twitter that is going to make him money if you need a blue badge you are going to be paying a monthly sub a monthly fee and quite a number of things that is going to make him a lot of money using twitter so businesses and entrepreneurs top businessmen are beginning to see that this online space has much more opportunity because people are there the online has grabbed a lot of audience so where you see people money lies there anywhere you see people you will see money there that's why there will always be money in uh, america there will always be money in africa because people are there now on twitter people are there and that is why elon Musk bought this platform because he knows that wherever you see people you will see money so what i want to encourage people is to begin to grow your digital understanding. Begin to grow your digital skills. That helps you to position your business um, beyond borders. It helps to position your business beyond borders. When you grow your digital skill, your business is beyond border. You can like, before I did this live session, I ran an ad on Facebook and Instagram. But, and those ads is targeting not only Nigeria, it's targeting people in Germany, targeting people in France, targeting people in UK, targeting people in Canada, targeting people in Nigeria, these five countries. And this, ad, if it's successful, is going to really make me a quite a number of amounts, a lot of money, and grow my audience. So if you have a digital skill, it can help you sell your product. One of my staff was lamenting that oh the economy this and that this and that. I say see if you focus on the negative part of the economy you will get a negative energy and it will produce negative results. There are people in 2022 during the lockdown that were hungry and there were people in 2020 rather during the lockdown they were building house. Are we not still in the same country? What is the difference? There is something that they are doing that these people are not doing leave the negative energy focus on the how can i how can i produce something positive in this current period and when you focus more on the positive energy you attract positive results so and that is why i told him see what are the skills you have you are always thinking i don't have 100 percent. i'm not 100 percent good you don't have to wait until you are 100 percent good if you know something at level 50 percent there are people who don't even know to 10 percent you are their boss come out position yourself package yourself and reach out to people i told him see if you're waiting for my salary or you're waiting for me on a monthly basis to pay you the salary fine your salary is going to come but it might not sustain you need to have various income sources by the virtue of you working with us you have learned video editing you have learned some online business package it how to edit your video and set up a quality something. Maybe you can just package the video how to properly edit your YouTube video, a free course or a course that is worth 1,000 naira. Run an ad of 20,000 naira. You can get with 20,000 naira ad, you can reach out to over 10,000 people or let's say 5,000 people. And if you have like 50 people buy your course, you have made 50,000 naira. You know that for every 10,000 naira or 20,000 naira I spend, I'm making 50,000 here. Go deep. The 50,000 square you make, pop it back there. 
Yeah. You discover that from that 3,000 you can make another 200,000 That is how you are going to replicate that, that result and make money for yourself. So digital skills is one of the ways you can go out of the upcoming recession. Looking at a lot of um, YouTubers that are in the um, US, they have been checking it. Recession 2023. Re recession 2023. And what is recession? Inflation at its peak, income at its lowest level. So you have little money chasing goods that are very high. So you have to begin to aim towards growing your digital skills now. I have a lot of people reaching out to me on my YouTube channel, Financial for YouTube channel, and they say, from Italy, I have one that reached out to me today, from Canada yesterday, UK, um, um, USA, and these people are saying, what can I do aside from my monthly income? So, and they begin, I begin to tell them that, see, digital business is the way now. Digital business is the way now. There is a site that you can set up, if you go to the site, um, 247 newscast. You can set up that site with just 200, let's say with 200,000 Naira. And when you set up that site, it will take you three months or two months to be money to, to, to get approved. Because on that site, we'll be posting, the site will be on um, world news, can be on uh, celebrity news, can be on finance news, can be on anything. Anything that has grabbed people's attention or that is grabbing people's attention. And when people begin to visit that site, after two to three months, it gets monetized by Google Ads. The first month of monetization, you can make $50. If you are consistently posting on that site, um, you can make $100 in the next month. It is at an increasing effect. But the beauty is that on your first month, second month, third month, you start making money on the third month. And on the third month that you start making money, it might be $20. But as long as that site is live, going into the sixth month of that site, you can be making about hundred dollar, two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar. Then that depends on the traffic that you bring to the site and the number of time you post. So there are so many things you can make money. People that are that are not going anywhere, sitting down on their laptop from morning to evening, and they are making money online. I have one of my friends that has um, one of these sites alongside with i also have the site i just logged, did the site but i'll be launching it in december and it is going to be making a lot of dollars of course my youtube channel is making dollars for me so the major thing is that if you have just online skills you will be able to position yourself very well this guy on a saturday i called him in the evening was like ah financial poor this morning i've been on my table my wife brings my food to my table i'm on my table this morning i've been posting content like something else and that site generated him, um, I think it generated him $300 that month plus $500 sponsor fee. Because people saw that this site is very interactive. Let me run an ad on your site. I'll pay you $500. In a month, it made like about $700. And the site is barely six, let's say eight months. So, one of the things that people, um, that, that people just want to hop into, they just want a quick cash money. But if you take your time and you grow some of this online space, if you are good at data marketing and you have a cost to sell, you will make money. Nothing can stop you from making money. No political instability. As long as your cost is relevant to people and you can run adverts, you can do data marketing, you can do social media marketing, you can do WhatsApp marketing, you make a lot of money from this. Uh, I don't know um, if um, Ms. Sandra has a question for me. Yeah, it is awesome. Um, no, I appreciate you. It was no, I didn't want to interject. I wanted you to flow. Okay. And that it's been a great one. I I would I would want us want to take this as um not just questioning. I'm going to be recapping some of the things you've said for emphasis. You know, it is said repetition okay. is the key to learning, you know, to yeah. make uh or make the audience have a clarity in what you've just said. And also have a good grasp of what you just said. I'm going to be going back again just to mention them. You spoke about growing your audience. 
you know it's one of the key to making money where there are people there will always be money money might not come immediately exactly. but i want to assure you with yes. time if you're consistent you will grow your audience and you know giving them quality content great content will make people to come after you asking questions just Same. like you rightly said people you do not know are getting in touch with you from all around the globe so get be, be sure of your content get quality content and people he said look up, um, after growing your business then your market will grow it's not about the money don't look at money as the first thing don't put money in front of you growing the audience yeah. with a sincerity to helping the audience helping the people if you put money out there you will probably you know want to deceive or you will not bring out good content but if your focus exactly. is helping the people around you in your environment to grow money will come thereafter like what i'm doing rightly i'm not making money from it but i know with time you know money will come Definitely. when you do the right thing so he said uh real estate nothing has ever affected real estate yes real estate can go up and down but it cannot crash like you have the stock market and the crypto market that right now a lot of people are like looking for their money money invested millions exactly. of dollars cannot be you know you cannot touch it you cannot feel it you can't say this is where it goes your all people are waiting for is trusting god that it will it will appreciate it will increase but for how long exactly if you have an emergency where do you get money from if you go to sell exactly. now now you're going to have uh, it's a bearish market you're going to be losing a lot of funds so you're going to be waiting for how long nobody has the control and uh you speak Definitely. about even when investing in real estate there are certain things you must look out for what are the economic developments coming to that city that environment yes. good role good yes. power you know do yes. your survey very well do they have a good survey plan so these are things you need Definitely. to consider. Very, very not going to real estate. Like uh, Paul, uh, financial coach said, go into real estate. Please do your findings. Not all real estate will give you what he's saying. But I'm doing your findings before debting or putting your art and money into it. You spoke about basic Definitely. needs. People, even in the time of not having enough, people will still wear good clothes. People will still look good. People will still want shelter. What are the things you can do? You want to go into building materials, bringing in, uh, sell... Um, uh, you know solar into nigeria knowing that you know gas and you know the increase of fuel and scarcity in getting uh gas into your generating set and a lot more find out what people need in your neighborhood in your area you need to do a lot of feasibility studies things that you know will say in your environment don't just do it because our financial post said it you need to find out your market Definitely because you need to, to your, your, your you want to buy and to yes yeah, you don't want to acquire those things and they're in your custody, but you can't sell. And you cannot return to get your cash back. So there's always, as much as these things are so sweet to say and good information, but you also need to do some working. And you spoke about begin to grow your digital skills. You have to grow. These are, you know, intellectual skills that no one can take from you. This would, if you're not careful, I would say it would stay with you forever. And there is no one leader who yes. got good by doing one thing the first time. The first time everybody tried something. We did it, you know, wobbling, just like a toddler, trying to work. He's going to be wobbling, 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 but someday he's going to be able to stand well and be able to run. So with digital skill, when you start now, it might not look so great, but as time goes on and you keep doing it, you can, you can, you get good at what you do. And before you know it, you become a guru. Like I started doing my live video. I'm sure the very first few months when I started, we're not so fantastic. But I didn't give in because I am passionate about what I do, not about the people. I'm yeah. not there to satisfy anyone or get people to know me. My passion was enjoy what I'm doing. Enjoy the lives I'm touching. Mm. Yes, not about, mm. oh, I'm not doing it well. If I'd looked at those things, I would have, uh, you know, you I would wouldn't have been have drawn back. I wouldn't have continued. I wouldn't have been here today. And likewise, I said, that was why I said, thank God for God. And thank God for God connecting me with financial poor. Maybe I wouldn't have because I'm not a social media person. I don't want to come to Limelight to talk. And basically, you spoke about digital skills. There's so many digital skills. Like now, I do a lot of intro videos. I do a lot of uh, outro videos. I do editing. So when you start speaking in my head, I just start thinking about money. What can I do? Where? How do I advertise it? What training can I do You know, to help people? And yeah. inflation is coming. Inflation is going to be eating hard in 2023. There's a lot of flooding taking place. So there's going to be food insecurity. There's going to be a lot. Houses have been destroyed in about mm. close to 22 states in Nigeria and other African countries. They've been flawed. So even the farmland has been taken over by water. So many things. 
even the river air, riverine so area many. where we have a lot of uh, you know gas and you know uh petrol everything there's going to be a lot of inflation 23. i don't want to scare you but i want you to get prepared i want you to prepare your mind you Start what are the things i can do differently in 2022 before the year goes to an end and what can i do in 2023 how do i prepare myself how do i get myself cushioned so that when this thing starts coming i won't be bothered because i will tell you selling skills selling service is so high because now you're selling intellectual capacity your personal development over time you've grown this skill or your digital skill and these are skills that nobody will take from you some of them you don't need any certificate to be able to get yeah, good at YouTube is there. there's so many things you can learn online get good at doing something find out what passion you have out there that you need to grow start growing them start you know getting into it start giving your time to doing it you don't have to serve a man man all your life whilst working start growing the skill alongside like uh financial paul rightly said to his staff he said now you've been working with me your salary is sure but what are you learning what are you putting what are you using your what you're learning to do start packaging yourself you understand i want to encourage you much more than you need to also connect to a god factor you can have all this skill if there are no god if you don't have a god factor you will just walk around the clock you will just keep doing a repeated mistake working in a loop being busy but not making money so i want to encourage you much more than ever before stay ask yourself Find out what God has created you to do. Because there's really no one God has created to created that he has not given a skill. There's a strength in you. There's something about you. You're unique. I am different from financial poor. Financial poor is different from me. Find out what skills you have. What are you good at doing? And please give yourself to it. Give your time to it. There's nobody. You're not in competition. It is said that those that compare themselves to themselves are fools. I'm not here to compare myself with financial poor. He's into real estate. I am doing leadership. I am doing sales. I'm doing write-ups on sales. I'm doing newsletter on sales because I've been in the sales industry for 20 years. And I'm like, God, what am I going to use with my selling skill? How can I help my people? How can I help the people around me? How do I get good at what I'm doing? And I'm like, okay, let me do some training on sales. How to, you on know, the, how people sell. How can they can sell people, online, yeah. physically? What are the barriers they can meet? Once they meet the barrier, how do they overcome? What can they do to get good at what they do? And that's what I'm using. So find out what you are good in doing. It yeah. could be that you're good in cooking. Come online and show us how to cook Edikai calls. So many African dishes, continental dishes. Show us how to do it. It might be you know how to make up. You know how to put, you know, a color combination. You know how to tie uh, egg here. Ties and every other thing. You can just come online and, you know, simple steps on how to stitch at home. Home stitches. You don't have to wait until you get to a tailor. Now, you know, in, in uh, the diaspora and outside the country, it is learn to do it yourself. Doing it yourself. Fix your car yourself. Do your garden yourself. Cook yourself. Everything is do it yourself. So you've got to learn the skills in order to be able to, you know, stand at par and even over and at edge over other people. So I want to encourage you, stay put. And I want to thank you, uh, Paul. I don't know if you have anything you want to say, a last word you want to say before I wrap yeah. this. Okay, I would just want to say this that um, um, in 2023, people are going to face quite a number of things, but it's always good we are uh, optimistic <laughs> and not yes. pessimistic. Sometimes, whatever you have faced that, any challenge you have faced that, just have that positive view towards because it's 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 not going to favor you if you are if you are way down, negative minded, yeah. in the towel and you begin to have a negative energy. It's going to only give you negative results so if you must get results you have to always be optimistic so that's just what i want to say being optimistic being positive i want to thank yeah. you financial paul i also want to thank my audience for being here and uh you, gleaning yeah. i'm also gleaning from you i learned some new things from you that i'm going to be talking behind doors after this meeting I want to encourage you. I also want to introduce myself, what I do basically. My name is Sandra Uko. I'm a Maxwell Leadership Certified Team member. I'm a coach, speaker, and a trainer. I'm also a sales expert of over 20 years in IT industry. And also, I'm an author. I write books as a ghost writer for others. Sometimes some people can have uh, a brain block that you're, you're already writing, but you have some kind of you know strain and you need help. You can reach out to me on my social media platform i'll be able to help you and if you do need to get more info on 
all that uh, financial poor just rightly said you can reach out to financial poor just search financial poor channel you will get his video but if you cannot you can often reach out to me i'll be able to connect both of you together thank you so much for giving out your time i have a sales training coming up sometimes in december how to 10x your sales okay. so I'm sure this is one of the things you want to key in into this year. You want to look forward to the video. I'm going to be sending you a link and I'm going to be putting a link here. You can, you know, you know, you know, sign up to and get into a group. And once you get there, please introduce yourself. Tell me I'm here for the free video. That free video will open you and it gets you ready, gets you prepared to cushion the effect of 2023 and be prepared and be positive minded. You know, you attract what you 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 you, you give out. So let's be positive minded. Yeah, Even in the midst of challenges, you there is still something you need to learn. And I like I rightly said, challenges is the uh, is the foundation for creativity. It is sometimes when you're in a blocked room, you begin to think out of the blue. You begin to look inward. So please, let's not give in. Let's not throw in the tower. Let's be strong and formidable. And that's why you need to plug into a system. Please plug into a system. Have the right environment. People, mentors and coaches, people you can reach out to. It is said that when a problem is shared, it is 50% solved. So reach out to people of like minds who can help you, drag you from whatever you know low moments that you are. Share your ideas. Who can help you brainstorm too and put you and guide you in the right direction? And much more than bring it to God and just trust God. Throw it to God and see God you know, doing wonders. 2023 is going to be a great mm. year for each and every one of us with great testimonies and great smiles. Thank you so much and do have a blessed day. Bye. Yeah. Till our next episode. Bye. Please click the link to get more information. You know, as regards my 10x, how to 10x the sales, how to sell mm. this year and the years beyond. Thank you. There is no yeah. rich man today that you see making money that has not sold something, uh, either sick. service that's, or product. So you must find out what product am I going to sell? What services mm -hmm. can I render? How would I would high, you know, uh, position myself for the years coming and the days ahead? I want to thank you. Stay, stay encouraged. Let's go out to make a difference in our world. Thank you. Thank you. Have you got a copy of this book? Can anything hold you back? Subtitle, Making a Difference? You need to go get it now. We are called not to fit into the pattern of the world, but to stand out. These can only be achieved by being self-aware. This book is available now on Amazon.com and Jumaya.com as an ebook as well as a print book. It is also available for purchase on www.sandrayuko.com. Thank you.